welcome back to my channel so uh, I don't know if you can guess what today's theme is um, I will give you a second it's Taylor Moon so of the very highly requested videos cosplay videos seem to be the most in demand and I absolutely love cosplaying and I feel like I haven't done enough cosplaying themed videos so consider this kind of the introduction to the many cosplay videos to come especially for the summer because I'm so excited and I have so much fabric. I wanted this to kind of reflect a little you know black girl magic and so of course I had to go ahead and add a little um cologne into it so and y'all I'm just gonna show you the outfit really quickly up close and personal and I am just absolutely in love with this outfit and and I cannot even begin to describe how much fun this whole process was. I made um, this outfit and I also helped my friend Jess as you'll see who was Sailor Saturn make her outfit as well. And so just kind of getting back into the whole spirit of cosplay was just so refreshing. So please if you have any other ideas totally. I don't know too much about anime and manga but but I'm always open to learning new things and I just love just that culture and so for this video I think I'm gonna divide it into two parts I'm gonna show you how I made the hair and then I'm also gonna show you how I made the costume um, it is not perfect in any way but I am proud of it so I hope that you all enjoy it but hold up uh, you should hit that subscribe button real quick and the bell button so you uh, get notified when I post new content and as always thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that bell button and follow me on Instagram as well as snapchat if you want to kind of get a behind-the-scenes look at how I plan my costumes and projects and DIYs and whatnot all right y'all I love you bye all right y'all real quick I just want to show you the inspiration behind this whole look this is by the artist Halalia which I hope I'm saying right but I will link their DeviantArt below, so go check them out because they are amazing. All right, so I'm starting off with some Kanekalon hair that is of the ombre sorts. I purchased this off of eBay, and I believe it was about $10 altogether. Um, so very inexpensive, and you don't have to get ombre, um, but I just did for this particular look. You're also gonna need some styrofoam balls of different arrangements, varieties, and sizes and whatnot. You're gonna need some craft wire, some black pantyhose, stockings, and whatnot. And you also might want to use some black spray paint, which I used um, at first, but then it was doing something weird to the styrofoam, so I kind of didn't do that. Um, so I also used some hot glue, some scissors, some hair bands, and some little rubber bands and whatnot. And now I'm going to go ahead and just measure out my wire to make sure it matches the length of the Kanekalon hair and a little bit over, just a little tiny bit. And so I just make two of those and I just kind of straightened it out. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the styrofoam balls and the coloring. So you can see where I kind of like spray painted it and it was doing something weird. But I would actually recommend just going ahead and spray painting it all black or painting it black. Uh, because it really does make a difference in the end to make it like more seamless and whatnot. But basically what I'm doing here is I'm just threading the wire through the styrofoam ball, taking the smallest ball first, and I'm just kind of bending the edge just to lock it so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm going to stick another ball of the same size, and I'm just going to um, string that through. And instead of going all the way to the bottom, I'm just going to kind of bend the edge and just bend it in such a way that it's locked into place. So you can see that they're kind of like a little string of pearls with a tiny bit of space between them. <laughs> string of styrofoam pearls, rather, but yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and um, just string on some more. So I did about six, so three of this small and then three of the large balls um, and yeah again I totally recommend just painting it because this looks like a, a mess but <laughs> um, the pantyhose did kind of help to conceal it but yeah this is what it looks like in the end so forgive my um, unevenness and whatnot but yeah so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut one of the legs off of the pantyhose and I'm gonna go ahead and stick the um, chain inside of there but this is kind of a little bit a little bit tricky so you just want to make sure you like you know open it up like this and then just carefully maneuver it around your um, chain of styrofoam balls and whatnot 
and it's gonna be a little rough but you will get through it because this is the part that I was just like all right so I see what y'all trying to do because the friction and everything yeah that's not a good combination so once you have that all you're gonna do is just twist it like such all the way down so technically we could have like you know kept um, the balls kind of close together instead of leaving space but I just did it just because it made this like nice little effect and whatnot so this is what it will look like so now you have your hair buns or hair ponytails um, and now I'm gonna take the hair and I'm just gonna kind of open it up and tease it out a little bit and then I'm gonna loop a hairband um, or ponytail holder whatever it's called I'm gonna loop it through so that I attach it to the hair and then I'm just gonna go ahead and um, tie that around the top of my um, ponytail thing <laughs> I'm not sure what to call it but yeah a ponytail creation there we go and then I'm just gonna go ahead and secure everything um, and just hide as much of the edges as possible so that you don't really see the styrofoam balls but it kind of you know you could you kind of could see it a little bit so you know it's all right it kind of worked out though I mean it worked out for the most part but yeah so um and y'all I'm sorry I also have it in my mouth because I, I only have two hands and <laughs> trying to show this on film was a little bit you know difficult but we figured it out so I went ahead and just instead of using my rubber bands I just took these little twist ties that I had lying around um, and then I just tied everything down and then just make sure to gather the hair make sure as much um, you know cover as much as possible and then just tie down everything once you cover each individual styrofoam ball and then for the very after you finish the last styrofoam ball what you're gonna do to just puff up the rest you're just gonna put the little rubber bands on there and then just kind of puff it up here and then fluff it out and make it a little bit more round and then there you have it so yeah basically that is it um, what I did was I just went ahead and snipped the flyaways which were super annoying but um, you can also use hairspray or hair gel to kind of like gel them down and keep them out of the way and clean up everything um, I went ahead and just tied off the top that way I can attach this to my hair so I made like a loop as you'll see in a moment yep like that and I just um, put my hair into pigtails and then just tied it to my pigtails and hid them in the back um, and then to make the gold uh, decorations I just took some fun foam or craft foam and I cut it into I believe it was like 17 or 18 pieces so 17 or 18 um, rectangles as you see and I put some little sequins on there and yeah this is the finished final look um, definitely go check out my costume video as to how I created the entire costume. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll hit you up soon. Bye!